So Ayla and I are actually at the hospital right now. She's just in surgery. She actually ended up having her um, appendix be inflamed and so she had appendicitis and had to get her appendix removed. So she was just in surgery and now I'm just in the waiting room kind of hanging out and waiting for her, her to be done. She is in recovery and the doctor said that the uh, appendicitis, they got it, the appendix out and everything went well there. There was, I guess, one of her ovaries that was quite large with uh, like a cyst in there and there was fluid that really didn't relate to an appendix uh, procedure like this. So they'll talk to us, there's going to be a gynecologist coming in to talk about the cyst and uh, everything related to that and her ovaries. So. Yeah, we will keep you uh, informed and I will make sure to get some footage of Ayla once I get to see her. Hello. <laughs> Hi. How are you feeling? I'm um, out of it. Are the drugs and the anesthesia still in you? Yeah. Well. Hi, Dad. Hi, Mom. This hurts. I need more water. I can't talk. <clears throat> yeah, you're. You're probably so happy to have water though. I've been wanting water for like 24 hours. You've been dry as a desert. <laughs> Can you eat yet? She, wanted, she said to take it slow. Did they remove your ovarian cyst as well? I'm out of it. I don't know what's going on. Okay. So this is my hospital room. I'll just give you a quick little tour from where I'm at. My breakfast this morning. And right here they had like a pull-out bed for Caleb to sleep on. Um, he's obviously gone now so they took it away. That's my IV that I have going. Which is really gross. <laughs> it's been in there for a long time. And I also have a second IV on this side, which um, doesn't have anything in it right now. That's from taking blood this morning. So I'll let you see um, my stomach where the surgery was done briefly this is the main incision in my belly button I have two other ones here my skin is all pink because of the solution that they put on but yeah kind of gross and kind of uncomfortable, but um, this was the easiest of the three options. They said that if it didn't work out this way, then they might have had to do like a full incision across my belly. So I am very pleased that it was able to be done in like the least obstructive manner. Um, one of the big things is that when they do this, when they do this operation, they actually like blow your stomach up so that they can get around inside and so one of the symptoms of that afterwards is that um, that kind of gas goes up into your side and into your shoulder and so every time I breathe I get like this sharp pain there and it really is very uncomfortable and it hurts a lot it hurts more than anything on my stomach does actually so I just really want that to go away. Um, Caleb's mom is on her way. She's going to come uh, stick around with me for a bit. I am being discharged today, um, which is good, but I am kind of demanding to see my gynecologist first to talk about some of the things that was just brought to my attention. Um, he told me that when they went inside, that they had discovered that I had a massive cyst. <clears throat> and that this cyst is 
had ruptured. Um, and so there was fluid and blood and all kinds of things around. And um, they wanted the gynecologist to come right away. Obviously I was under anesthesia that, at that point and um, they took away the fluid. They kind of sucked it all out and got rid of the cyst. But since I hadn't given any consent, they c couldn't take out my ovary. Um, so that's what the doctors are saying is that that seems to be their kind of plan is that they do want me to come back another time and take out my ovary and that scares me I've already been I've already been having such a hard time getting pregnant and I don't want to add to that in any way. I know that I'll still have an ovary left and it still gives possibilities, but what if this were to happen again and I had to get that one removed? You know, or what if it causes more complications? What if we have to do IVF now? I just didn't expect this to happen. I just don't understand why, like, I can't catch a break. <laughs> I'm freaking exhausted and just so, like, emotionally drained that adding this to the pile is so hard. See, it hurts to breathe right now. <sighs> so, we just ask that you keep us in our prayers and your thoughts, and that hopefully the end result, you know, will look better. <sighs> I'm gonna try and rest now, and I will, um, talk to you guys in a little bit, hopefully when I'm at home. Yeah. So Ayla has been recovering well. It's It hasn't been a quick recovery, but it is it is a recovery nonetheless. She is feeling a little bit better each day and able to do more on her own. Because um, most of the time I've had to help her out of bed, into bed, and with pretty much anything and everything. So please just continue to um, think about her and wish her well. We are going to Mexico soon and it would be great if she could be all healed up by then. And another thing to note is we may not have any more videos while this next week kind of takes place just because we're trying to get her recovered and we'll be pretty busy getting ready to go to Mexico. So while we're there, we're hoping to put up a video maybe two, and uh, as long as there's Wi-Fi, we will let you guys see how we're doing and let you see how our trip's going. So thanks again for watching the video and for thinking about us. So stay tuned for the next videos to come. All right, take care.